Well, you may recall Brighton Rehab and Wellness was hit hard during the pandemic. To date, 93 residents here have died of COVID. Now, a lawsuit accuses Brighton's owners of saving more than $20 million by keeping staff levels below minimum standards. And when Brighton officials were asked about staffing during a court proceeding, they pleaded the fifth, citing their right to avoid self-incrimination. Nursing home employees rallied in Beaver last month. Among them, nurses and aides who work at Brighton Rehab and Wellness Center. Staffing is terrible. Shelby um, Dilley has been a certified nurse aide at Brighton for 16 years. You cry on your way home because you feel so helpless, but you know you have to keep going back every day so you can help the people that live there. Staffing levels are a focus of a lawsuit accusing Brighton of negligence in the 2019 death of resident Judith Holinsky. A CPA's report filed by the plaintiffs found that from 2017 to 2019, Brighton's nursing staff worked 694,000 fewer hours than expected under Medicare rules based on the care levels required. That saved Brighton's owners more than $22 million in salaries and overtime. Brighton did not respond to multiple requests for comment. In court papers, Brighton denies the lawsuit's allegations. Brighton's own expert witness says the CPA report is an opinion not based on a standard of care or a regulation, and that a state inspection showed Brighton fully compliant with staffing regulations during Alinsky's stay. Action News Investigates asked the daughter of another former Brighton resident about the report. Jody Gill is a plaintiff in another pending lawsuit against Brighton. I keep saying the word appalling with regard to anything at Brighton, and at this point, nothing shocks me when I am told of um, what they have done to make money for themselves and provide less than adequate care. She says one day she saw her father's roommate covered in a sheet. She thought he might be dead. I and mean, I didn't want to go touch another patient, and I had to go looking for a staff member, and it took me over an hour to find a staff member. In depositions for the lawsuit, Helinski's lawyers repeatedly asked Brighton's former administrator and nursing director about staffing. They both declined to respond, citing their Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. Former nursing director Eva Hamilton invoked the Fifth 27 times. Former administrator Thomas Loudon, 34 times. One time, Loudon was asked if he had any concerns that the facility was not staffed in a manner that was sufficient to meet the needs of its residents. His response, based on my constitutional rights, I respectfully declined to answer that question. Loudon declined to comment when reached by Action News Investigates. Hamilton did not respond to multiple requests for comment. In court papers, Brighton's attorneys say Loudon and Hamilton are subjects of an ongoing FBI investigation into various issues at Brighton, including staffing levels and the response to state inspections. In 2020, the FBI served search warrants on Brighton and a related facility, Mount Lebanon Rehab and Wellness Center. Last year, former Mount Lebanon Administrator Susan Gilbert was indicted on fraud charges, accused of telling employees to falsify records to appear that they met staffing requirements. She pleaded not guilty and faces trial later this year. Gill says she met with federal and state investigators earlier this year. And I personally can state that I have provided information, um, oral, electronic and written, to the FBI and the Pennsylvania Attorney General. Brighton CNA Shelby Dilley says something needs to change to make sure residents get the care they deserve. If we don't have enough staff, we can't get them fed as quick, we can't get them toileted as quick, we can't get them cleaned up as quick. It's very much frustrating for me as a worker and for the patients. I feel bad for them. The new state budget includes an additional $250 million for nursing homes to improve their staffing levels. It's unclear how much of that taxpayer money will go to Brighton. Reporting live in Brighton Township, Beaver County, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.